Good morning and thank you for joining me for this webinar on the benefits of ERCA membership. Um, my name is James Mayers, I'm the Member Journey Manager for the CQI and what that means is I manage the membership team that are the first point of contact for all of our current and active CQI and ERCA members. So we will support you in things such as renewals, regrades, recertification, any questions you have about the members area, the benefits you receive, etc. Anything like that, you can give us a call or email us and we will be there to support you. Now, today, as I said, we're going to be running through um, the ERCA benefits and, and how you can use your benefits, but we'll look at a couple of different things. We'll look at ERCA and a bit of its history, just quickly whiz through that. We'll look at the members area, how you can find it and use it, um, professional recognition that you receive from being an ERCA member, the information resources available to you, networking opportunities, and then a little bit on how you can give back to the profession should you wish to. Now, the presentation should last between 30 and 40 minutes, and you can see in the webinar pane, there's an option to add any questions. I will keep an eye on that, and uh, if I see anything pop up, I'll try and answer that as I go, but um, I'll come back to that at the end and there'll be an opportunity for you to ask any questions then and I'll answer all of those questions for you. All right, so moving on. So ERCA is a professional register for management system auditors. It's a division of the CQI, the Charter Quality Institute. It started out as the register of lead assessors back in 1984 and it was created by the British government's enterprise initiative to make industry and business more competitive through the implementation of quality principles and practices. Then in 1988, it evolved into the International Register of Certificated Auditors, as it now is, the IRCA, and that was in recognition of the global nature of accredited certification and the growth of auditor training and certification worldwide. And as you can see at the bottom of that slide there, our vision, the CQI and ERCA vision, is to have a world in which all organisations optimise value for their stakeholders through excellence in governance, assurance and improvement, which are the three key areas of the CQI competence framework. Right, now the members area. So hopefully you're all aware and are using the members area but if you're not that is where the majority of the member benefits reside and you can access it through our website www.quality.org and if you look at that image there you can see in the top right hand corner of the website there's an orangey red button and that um, has members area written on it and if you click on that there um, that will open this page where you can put in your username and password. Now, if you haven't been to the members area in some time, if you haven't signed in for a while, um, we have updated the security there. So it now requires you to have a minimum of seven character alphanumeric password. So it needs to have numbers and letters, it needs to be a minimum of seven characters. If you have any trouble, signing in you can see on the right hand of that screen you'll see some support and advice on how you can log into that page uh, into the members area but um, if you're still struggling you can either give us a call or email us and we'll be happy to talk you through the process and, and reset passwords as necessary what i'm just going to do now is just quickly check with you i just want to make sure you can all hear me loud and clear so if you wouldn't mind just making a note in the question section just to confirm you can hear me I'll just give a, a couple of seconds for people to do that if you could just type something quickly into there that would be very helpful okay right so once you've signed into the members area, you will see 
the following page and as you can see there at the bottom of the page you've got some big buttons four large buttons it's actually six now we've included new buttons for applications and regrades to make it easier for you but essentially those are quick links to key pages on the website or on the the members area of the website when you sign in you'll also see that there's an additional tab to the left hand side of the navigation bar so if you now look to the top of the screen you'll see there's a tab in yellow there which is members area and as you hover over that there's a number of key sections there and under each section there's more um, links to various pages so under my details you'll find personal information where you can update your um, name address etc telephone number email details there's work experience where you can input any changes to your employer or your um, your activities that you've undertaken under an employer. So you can keep your um, work experience up to date for us. There's training and qualifications. Again, any new training or qualifications you undertake, you can record that in there. Audit experience. So this is now the online audit log. Previously, we had a downloadable form which you could either print off and write on or you could um, you could write on it on your computer and email it to us there's now no longer a need for you to do that applications regrades recertification are all now online and you can update them in the members area so you can keep a track of your audits in our website against your record um, and there's also your professional profile there and login and security if you want to change your password for the members area. So those three that are in there, work experience, training and audit experience, are all worth keeping up to date as you progress in your career and just periodically going in and updating them. Because if you do cho choose to regrade um, or to recertify, if you're asked to recertify at a later date, anything that you've added in there at any time, will automatically be pulled through to your regrade or your recertification. And that will mean you don't have to do much work at that point. It's all already done for you. It's there. You've done it in the past and it will just be automatically populated. So that's my details. Then we've got my membership. Now, some of the, the um, tabs that you're seeing here won't be relevant to you because some are for CQI members. So CQI members see certain tabs, IRCA members see certain tabs, or it might be that you're a dual member, in which case you'd see all of these. So there's apply for a new membership. So if you have one scheme with us or two schemes, whatever it may be, you might be a QMS auditor. You might wish to apply to be an EMS auditor, EMS certified with um, IRCA, and you can uh, do that through clicking on the apply for a new membership there and you'll begin an application for the EMS scheme, for instance. Um, again, any information you've previously input into the members area will get pulled through to that section. Um, you've got my application so that it's for if you've started an application or a regrade um, you could save it at any point and leave it and come back to it days weeks months later should you wish to my application stores everything you've done and you can just go there and, and um, uh, start uh, from where you left off urca regrade if you're looking to upgrade to a higher uh, grade with us recertification so as I said, recertification is now online and you can do it through that page there. Transition links you to information about the various schemes, their transition dates, um, the requirements and policies we have for each of those and information about the training courses associated with transition for each scheme. Download my logo, we'll come on to that later and apply for a concession. So if you're finding yourselves in a hardship situation, you've become unemployed, your income's been reduced by your employer and you're, you're struggling to, to meet your bills, anything like that, or you might be on maternity leave, um, you can apply for a concession, which is essentially a discount on your membership fee for the year. So well worth knowing as uh, we find ourselves in these difficult times with COVID-19. 
My payments is the next tab down. We're not going to look at that one, but essentially you can print off, find your invoices, print them off, any receipts that you've paid for, uh, you can print off there and also you can pay your fees or set up a direct debit if you're in the UK or the EU. We've then got my preferences. So you've got your contact preferences, so you can um, update your email information, choose which email you'd like us to contact you on. Um, email subscriptions, that's where you choose what type of emails you wish to receive from us or if you don't want to receive certain emails. And then there's areas of interest and industry sectors. We're not using those too much at the moment, but essentially it's um, what um, industries that you've worked in, or areas of interest you have related to auditing or the quality profession. And we would then use that information to, um, to support us in understanding what our members want and where what kind of content we should be producing for them. And we might also later, further down the line, be able to offer members um, specific uh, information and resources related to what their interests and needs are. The next tab is my professional development and under this tab you've got continuing professional development or CPD. Again this is important for ERCA auditors um, as we do ask for CPD when you uh, are required to recertify and that's where you would record any objectives that you've set yourself. So it could be that um, you have career objectives that you've just set yourself. It could be that you have objectives set in your annual appraisals, or you might think about your strengths and weaknesses. Um, it could be that your businesses have goals and targets that they're working towards, and you, you set some objectives based on that. There's lots of ways you could do it. It might be that your objective is to um, transition to the newest version of the scheme, uh, for instance, QMS, um, OH&S, um, and then you would record the activities that you undertake to complete that objective and write some reflection on um, how successful the activities are, if you've learned everything you need to achieve the objective, if it's highlighted anything else that you might need to undertake. So CPD, well worth doing, it's a requirement across the IRCA grades, so do take a look there. The same with the other pages, anything you record in there in the members area at any time will be pulled through to any regrades or recertifications that you do later on. You can also store your CPD in there and the system allows you to download it. So if you need it for other reasons, for your work, for other professional bodies that you might be associated with, you can save it all there and then export it and use it elsewhere if you need to. Quality World magazine, you can see there. So this is a, a monthly magazine that we send out. It's available online to all Lurker members. So there is a, a back catalogue in there of magazines dating back to around 2014, I think. So lots of interesting articles, current affairs related to quality, auditing, um, interviews with um, successful uh, professionals, all kinds of things. So worth a look if you haven't ever looked at those before. The e-library is a resource we'll come on to later. Reports, again, we're going to look at that. Mentoring, we'll take a look at that. Um, and then the last one is My Networks, and this is where you can sign up to a branch or a special interest group. And we'll cover both of those things later in the presentation. Right, so recognition for your skills and experience. So we have five grades, um, Associate Auditor, which is suitable for those that have passed an IRCA training course, but haven't yet gone on to do audits or haven't completed sufficient audits, audits to move up to the next grade of membership with us. Internal Auditor is specifically for those who are conducting audits of their own organisational management system. 
The auditor grade is suitable for you if you're conducting full system audits, either as a member of a team or as a sole auditor. We then have the lead auditor grade, which is for those conducting full system audits and experienced in leading a team and carrying out ex external audits. And then finally, principal auditor, which is for senior audit professionals with an extensive history of conducting audits, but they might no longer be actively conducting audits anymore. It might be that they've moved into more of a training role or a management role, um, you know, an administrative role away from auditing potentially. Um, so it's worth considering if you're at the right grade of ERCA membership, because this is a way to demonstrate to people your level of experience and what kind of auditing you're doing. If you are thinking about regrading, you can see that URL, that link on the right hand side of the page. That's a grade quiz you can do there. So it will just take you through a quick few questions, allowing you to establish if you do have the experience, knowledge, skills, etc., to upgrade. Equally, you're, you're more than welcome to either email the team, membership at quality.org, um, or give us a call and we'll be happy to discuss that with you. Okay, so the IRCA register, when you become a member, you'll be added to the online register and you can see the register on the screen there in front of you. Um, it's a tool for you to promote yourself as an auditor and you can find it on our website under the IRCA member tab in the top navigation bar. Um, it enables employers to search for auditors. It might be that they're looking to recruit someone permanently, to hire someone for a short contract, or they may just wish to check the competence of an auditor. Um, so we often hear from people wanting check to check out the competence of an auditor, and it's up to you really whether you are displayed on the IRCA register. Um, you have a choice in your application, whether you wish to be displayed or not. Um, the majority of people do display themselves there as a way of promoting themselves. But at any time, if you don't wish to be displayed any longer, you can go into the members area and untick that option. So the register allows people to search for an auditor by their scheme, their grade, their country, the county, city, first name, surname, membership number, or their industry. So there's a lot of ways that you can break it down and search, make your search specific. Um, and it's a great way to promote yourself as an auditor. And the website on this specific page has around two and a half thousand visits a month. So a lot of people are going to that page and looking up auditors. So it's a great tool for promoting yourself. But as I say, if you don't wish to appear on there, you don't have to. Now, if you are on the register, it's worth updating your profile. And um, you can do this in the members area under the My Details, My Profile section. Um, so it allows you to make the most of the IRCA register. As you can see there, there is, um, on, well, the top one there is remove yourself from the register should you wish to, so you can edit that. You've also got the opportunity to add uh, a profile picture of yourself or a business logo should you wish to. Um, you can link a company website so people can jump straight from the IRCA register to your website. And you've also got the chance to add a short biography there where you can really sell yourself talk about your experience as an auditor to allow people to see how experienced uh, and competent you are. So as I say, you can do all of that in the members area. So if you are on the IRCA register and you're um, hoping to find business that way, well worth updating your profile. Another tool you can use to promote yourself or show gain recognition is the IRCA cards, the IRCA certification cards, and you can see a soft copy image of one of the cards there on the right hand side. So when you first join and every year you renew, um, you'll be sent by post a certification card showing your grade scheme expiry date. 
and you can use that card to demonstrate your worker certification to employers or when you go on site for instance. The hard copy card is something we send out by standard post so it can take a number of weeks to arrive depending on where you are in the world. Um, they're posted from the UK so they'll arrive in the UK quickest then Europe and then outside of Europe can take a little bit longer um, and we are they are sent by standard post so we are reliant on the postal services in each country so there can be some delay with that um, and because of COVID-19 we have heard from people that there, there are actually further delays due to issues with postal services globally so I do apologize if you have been waiting for a card and you haven't received one um, we are now looking to return to the office. We've been working remotely, which has hindered us from sending out cards by special delivery. But if you haven't received your card, um, do let us know. And as I say, we'll be returning to the office to some extent soon. And that will enable us to send out cards um, by tracked service. So we'll be able to send you a tracking number in future if you haven't received it within a set period of time. Something else we're doing to try and negate that issue of cards um, not arriving because of postal services is we've started sending out soft copy cards. So these are attached to your receipt email. So once you've paid us, you'll get a receipt. And uh, as an attachment, you'll see a card like you can see on the right hand side of the screen there. You can download that to your computer or to your phone, for instance. And that is something you can use in the interim period until you receive your hard copy card. We also have logos and certificates. So um, the logos unfortunately aren't available at the associate auditor grade but for internal auditor, auditor, lead auditor and principal auditor you can access um, logos for each of the schemes and the grades you have uh, and those can be found in the members area under my membership and then there's a logo page so you can go on there you can download those and you can use those on your your emails, you can use it on your um, company letterhead, for instance, anything like that to promote yourself and demonstrate to others that you care about the auditing profession, that you've been trained to a high level, that you maintain your competence and you're checked on that on a regular basis through recertification. So that's a great thing to do if you aren't already using the logos. Certificates are available, so we used to send these out to members. They are There is an additional fee for certificates. It's currently £16, and that's to cover our printing and postal costs because we are sending these globally. Um, so with the certificates, up until recently because of COVID-19, we haven't been able to send them out. But as I say, we're coming back to the office. So if you would like a certificate, um, we'll get those sent out to you and um, that's a great way to again promote yourself you can hang that on your wall you could post it online on social media um, so just another option for you to demonstrate your competence to others right and then we have the international quality awards um, and this is another great way of getting recognition uh, we started them back in 2017 um, to celebrate excellence in the quality and auditing sector. They've got bigger and bigger each year. There are a number of categories, but there is one specific category for auditing, which is the Audit Systems Award. It's for individuals or a team or an organization that have contributed most to establish and deliver an efficient and effective audit system. So I'm going to play the video now, um, which just gives you an insight into the event and um, some of the people that actually won the Audit Systems Award. Uh, I think this one was back in 2018 or 19. Um, this award is awarded to those uh, who 
Okay, so um, that was great to hear from someone who's been through the process themselves. Obviously, not everyone can win these, but um, we've found, oops, sorry, a little bit of extra video there going on. We found that it's a real value added activity um, for those that get involved. We had someone um, in the first year, in fact, who applied, they didn't win, but they found the feedback really helpful. They used that to refocus themselves in their career. They then um, actually progressed in their career from there using that feedback and they came back in 2019 and they went on to, to win their category. Um, so it's well worth doing. It's a fantastic experience. I was lucky enough to go last year and it was a really great event it's really powerful seeing all of those people that really care about their profession um, hearing them talk and the emotional journeys they've been on and um, what it means to them so um, if you do the, get the chance to go maybe some of you have already been i highly recommend it this year's entry unfortunately have already closed now um, finalists are due to be announced on the 4th of september um, and then be interviews in october with the awards panel um, and then the awards will be taking place online obviously this year because of COVID-19 um, on the 18th of November so if you are interested you can sign up for that for a ticket on our website so do take a look uh, it's a great way to promote yourself and your business right so now we've looked at some of the ways you get recognition from ERCA. Let's talk about um, some of the information resources available to you as a member. So um, we've got a large number of research and reports documents on the website in the members area. Um, so we've got the, the ISO uh, 9001 2015 report, 45001 2018, etc. We tend to do um, a report each time one of the key standards is updated. So those are all there online, ready for you to take a look um, and read through and build your knowledge um, whenever you wish. They're, they're available to download, so you can read them offline as well. Um, we typically publish those, as I say, for key ISO standards um, on a regular basis. You'll also find on the website we have what we call knowledge articles, which are shorter, um, typically five to six hundred word articles about quality and auditing topics or professional development type articles that could help you with your CPD. And every month we also send out an email highlighting some of the articles on the website. So that's a good way just to see, to kind of pick out which ones are of most interest to you and then go to those from there. But if you haven't looked at the reports page, go in online to the members area and have a look. We've got the e-library, um, which again is in the members area and contains a wealth of quality related journals. Um, and auditing related subjects, magazines and publications. 
it's a searchable platform, a bit like Google, but giving you a lot more options in how to refine your searches and enable you to bookmark content so you come back to it whenever you need to. Um, as you can see, I've included some um, journals and magazines across the top there so you can get an idea of what's included. Um, it's a tool you could use to help you studying for qualifications. We see a lot of people applying for degrees or studying for degrees use this kind of thing. Um, it could be something that you use to access research papers. It might be that you're checking out a competitor and want access to market research or product reviews or news articles, or it might be that you just wish to gain a deeper understanding of particular topics. So it's a very powerful tool to help you with all of that. And equally, there are a lot of general interest magazines that you can see such as um, Harvard Business Review, Time, The New Scientist, The New Statesman. Um, so, you know, it's worth a look on there. If you've got subscriptions to various papers or magazines, it could be that you could cancel those subscriptions and you can access them online through the e-library as part of your membership with us. So there could be a potential saving there, as well as a way for you to um, build your knowledge um, in quality and auditing subjects. So as you can see on those bullet points, lots of things available to you. Over 4,400 4, business magazines, journals and publications. Over 1,500 newspapers with same day currency. Over a million company profiles. And a million TV and radio news transcripts as well. So if you heard a snippet of something and you wanted to check back on that, you could do that through the e-library. OK, so well worth a look and we'll be doing a webinar on the e-library in the next couple of months in fact just to show people how to use it and make the most of it. Quality World we touched on this earlier as an IRCA member you also have access to Quality World um, in the members area the hard copy isn't sent out to IRCA members it's, it's actually a CQI benefit but as I say the uh, online issues and the online back catalogue with magazines dating back to 2014 and in some cases earlier are all available through the members area. There's feature articles which are in-depth looks at specific topics or issues, quality tools which are quite visual introduction to particular tools, news and analysis um, and we're always looking to improve Quality World so if you do have any feedback or suggestions or you'd like to write an article for Quality World, you think something would be interest other members, contact the team anytime. They'd always be happy to hear from you and um, you might even be in the magazine. The mentoring platform. Um, this is something we released back in 2019 to CQI members and then more recently to IRCA members. Um, a lot of members have found it to be an invaluable tool um, to helping them in their careers, their membership um, with specific tasks. Essentially what it does is it matches um, experienced professionals who can provide support and guidance to less experienced professionals. Um, so you could become a mentor or a mentee it's up to you. You could even be both. Um, so it might be that you feel you've got a lot of experience you'd like to share with others or possibly you'd like to learn something from someone else and need some support. and You can't get that through your business. So how it works to use it, simply sign up to the members area, into the members area, um, go to the mentoring page, enter your skills and the needs that you have on the platform and it will match you up with someone to support you. Um, it's proved to be a useful tool for career progression where young professionals can get assistance in the development of their technical knowledge and skills from an experienced mentor. Um, many members on the platform have received assistance in regrading, so moving up through our grades from other people who have already done that obviously we will support you with the process but it might be that you want to talk to someone who's been through it from the applicant's perspective. 
And you can also use the platform for specific projects or tasks that you have. It might be that you've not done those before um, and you want to speak to someone who has done that, uh, had that similar experience and can support you with it and give you some guidance about the pitfalls and how they could take you could take advantage of the situation and make the most out of it, etc. OK, so the mentoring platform, well worth a look. Lots of people signed up to it already. Those numbers on the side there are actually quite old. Um, we've had quite a few hundred more people sign up for it since then. I think there's um, around 500 active mentors and 500 or 450 to 500 active mentees currently signed up and actively using the mentoring platform. Right, another resource is the e-newsletters. So we have knowledge, which tells you about CPD and good practice. And then we have networks, which tells you about the latest news within CQI and IRCA, whether it's about our policy department, the standards panel, branches or special interest groups. There's information there to support you. Um, in the members area, if you choose not to receive these, you can opt out of them under your preferences page. And then there's the CQI competence framework. Now, this is predominantly geared towards CQI membership. Um, and we say quality is made up of these five elements, improvement, governance, assurance, leadership and context. But obviously, a lot of this still applies to IRCA auditors um, and you may wish to look at it. It might support you in your career, the context and leadership certainly of use and assurance, obviously. So well worth a look. It might give you some ideas for CPD objectives or how to advance yourself. And that can be found on the website as well. So we'll now look at um, some of the networking opportunities available to you. So social media, we have our own IRCA LinkedIn group. It's got over 10,000 members. Um, it's a place where you can discuss current affairs relating to the auditing profession, see articles, network with other auditing professionals. So well worth a look there. If you haven't already, we've also got Facebook groups and Twitter accounts um, allowing you to keep up to date with what's going on with us and other auditing professionals as well. Quality Connect is something which is about to go live in the next month or so. This will be in the members area. Um, and it's essentially a member only discussion forum giving you a platform to debate key topics with other auditing professionals and quality professionals. So keep your eyes open for that in the members area under the networking section. Um, I think that's going to be a really great tool for auditors to connect and discuss things going forward from here. Um, Another way you can network with other quality and auditing professionals is through our branch network. Currently, we've got 26 branches in the UK, three overseas. Now, until recently, um, all of these branch branches were meeting face to face. Um, obviously, with COVID-19, that hasn't been possible. And we've said to our branches that they can't have physical meetings um, for the remainder of this year. But what that has done is enabled us to move those meetings online. And we've had a lot of success with the online branch meetings. Um, I actually was involved in one for our Nottingham and Derby branch not so long ago, looking at membership grades and the mentoring platform in more detail. And it's a great way to meet other quality and auditing professionals, to network with them, to hear from um, speakers um, who are at the top of the field, um, giving lectures, giving activities, etc. And the fact that it's now online has made it much more accessible to people all around the world. So wherever you are, 
you're able to join any of these branch events, online events. And if you go to the website and um, you go to the, I believe it's the communities tab, let me just double check that. Yes, in the top navigation bar under community, um, you'll see a heading that says events and that will show you a calendar of all of the events we have lined up and you're welcome to join any of those branch events wherever they are sign up meet some new people discuss quality and auditing with them um, great opportunity for cpd as well so we are looking to open up new branches globally um, and i think there's a few i think there's some in Africa and Asia that are in the process of being set up. If it's something that would interest you setting up a branch, wherever you might be, um, our professional networks team would be more than happy to discuss that with you and support you in that process. Um, so something to consider there as well. So as I said, the benefits of uh, the branches, you get to meet and network with other professionals, benefit from all uh, CPD opportunities, from lectures, seminars, site visits, potentially once the um, restrictions have eased. And it's also a great way to give back to the community if you decide to um, be one of the branch committee members. And then following on from branches, which are, um, I would say, based geographically uh, or uh, their, their networking opportunities geographically, or they traditionally have been, we have special interest groups. Um, so these are member led again, and we've got three different types. We've got industry specific. So under industry specific, we've got construction, defense, nuclear, and PQG, which is pharmaceutical quality, subject specific. So we've got Deming, which is mainly focused on uh, improvement. And then we've got member segment and the next generation network, which is for young quality and auditing professionals. So as I said, where the branches are regional, the special interest groups or SIGs offer the chance to engage with those who have an interest in specific topics or industries and share insight, expertise and best practice. As an IRCA member, um, you can also join the PQG, the Pharmaceutical Quality Group for free, um, should you wish to. They are actually um, standalone from the CQI and IRCA, so other people outside of the CQI and IRCA would have to pay to join them separately. So you've got an opportunity to do that for free if you're in the pharmaceutical world. Um, it's also an area where you can put in a lot and get a lot out um, and we're in the process of setting up a new special interest group specifically for auditors so watch this space and then finally coming to the end of the presentation giving back so you can become a volunteer for us um, and there's a number of ways that you could take an interest or give back to the profession. As I said, you could become a mentor on the mentoring platform and support other auditing professionals, progress through their careers. Um, you can uh, be part of the content policy or, or, or the standards panels. So we have, um, we're able to feed in to the ISO standards and um, you could be one of our panel members should you wish to. You can liaise with our policy team and um, impact the direction that CQI and IRCA is going in. And there's also the opportunity, as I said, to be an author or reviewer for the Quality World magazine. So you could be writing articles, you could be reviewing books for us related to quality and auditing, which would then be featured in the magazine. There's lots of ways in which um, you can get involved with the organization, um, give back, but also gain something from it. The more you put in, the, the more you get out essentially. So those are, 
the things I wanted to cover today, um, we've whizzed through those, but I'd be more than happy to go into more detail if people have specific questions. Um, so if you'd like to ask any questions now, please do drop them into the question panel and I'll be happy to answer those. So no questions so far. Um, if anything does come to mind later on, um, you can either email the team at membership at quality.org or you can give us a call on 0207 245 6866 and myself or one of the team would be more than happy to help you. I'll just keep this live for another couple of minutes just in case anyone does want to ask a question. OK, I'll just give it another minute, um, but if we don't hear anything more, I'll draw a close to the webinar. Um, someone's asked which country in Africa we're looking to um, set up a branch in. I don't actually recall at this moment in time, I'm afraid. Um, I'll have to check with the professional networks team, um, but I'd be more than happy to get back to you with that answer. Um, so what I'll do is I'll make a note um, to send that across to you, Samuel. So no other questions that I can see apart from that one from Samuel about the branches in Africa, which I will email you about once I've spoken to our professional networks team that run the branches. OK, well, thank you very much for coming along. I appreciate your time. I hope that was useful. Um, and we'll be doing more webinars in the future on the member benefits, um, some of them in more detail, so specifically on subjects like the e-library, the mentoring platform, um, and potentially some on Quality Connect once that's released as well. So hopefully I'll see you again there. Um, until then, goodbye and thanks very much for your time.